About a decade after the Toyota unintended acceleration allegations, there are similar allegations against Teslas, in this case, driving through the wall of a house. To be sure, at this point, nothing has been proven either way, but regardless of what the root causes turn out to be, it is clear that the car industry's strategy is to always blame the driver if it's possible. This strategy is supported by the U.S. government, who blame 16,000 unintended acceleration cases on drivers every year. It's worth noting that in a typical government investigation of an unintended acceleration claim, driver error is considered as a possible cause, but software defects are typically not even considered as a possible cause in the investigation. In other words, if a car runs just fine during testing, then the conclusion is it must have been driver error without ever actually digging in to find out whether it's plausible that a software defect caused it. In this talk, we're not going to be able to resolve the issue of what's really going on here. However, I will make the observation that the uniform playbook across the decades has been, unless there's evidence that is not only irrefutable, but very easily repeatable, what you tend to see is that the driver is blamed for any odd, dangerous behavior of a vehicle, even though that could possibly have come from a software defect. 